Hello everyone, in this video I will show you a solution that you can use King County ATF board so that you can record the temperature sensor date and save to SD card and by Excel file. So this is a very interesting project. You can see, I can use this one to read this uh, DS18B20 temperature sensor and save to my SD card. So that is the SD card I can insert to my computer that can uh, open the excel file and make the diagram so that will be very easy for record all the temperature uh, for different uh, every some seconds or every some uh, minutes or every some uh, hour uh, just according to your source code and this board uh, this project Arduino source code also we are open source so you can download from our company form okay in this video i will show you how it works and uh, you can see uh, this is our King Kony ATF board. Uh, it's very small. And uh, at here, you can see the SD card at here, the USB uh, for power and download the firmware. And this has free GPL to use. And uh, this, this board just use the power voltage 5 volt. So you can see I have connected this one. And you can see this one, the red and the black is power. And this is GPL, and if you don't need to use it, just cut it. So just 5 volt. this is 5 volt. I have connect uh, to my board. Or you can use a USB to give it power supply. And this is DS18B20 temperature sensor. So I have connect it here, because uh, that have uh, five, uh, 3 volt and the GPL and the ground. So these three lines, I have went at this, at this board. So you can see, uh, this have pin define. You can see, uh, this have a pin define. We can see clearly, uh, this three volt and the GPL 26 and ground. And also there are some different GPL you can use it. And this pin you can see, five volt and ground. And these two pins, if you want to use, you can use with a serial port, uh, maybe you can print your temperature date and uh, save the serial port uh, logo file to SD card. Okay, let's see my compute. And you can see in my SD card, uh, this file, uh, I have record one day, every five seconds. You can open this file and at here, you will see uh, this is the date. Uh, you can see this is the begin, uh, the time and the date I have not configured. So this I have set to the uh, date and the time. And you can see almost every five seconds, you can see five seconds, almost five seconds. So that will record the temperature. Uh, this is, the temperature is in my room. So you can see this is at night. Uh, the temperature uh, will be low because uh, the night, the temperature will be low. You can see this build will be low. You can see it almost saved many, many, many record. And you can see uh, this is the second day also have saved this temperature. So you can create the diagram is very easy just by the Excel. Uh, you can see I can delete it. So you can see I can delete it. So if you want uh, this three date, and you can create a dashboard, uh, so that will be very easy. Just according to the Excel file, you can see uh, the temperature and the date and the time, uh, because there are so many uh, record. Uh, maybe you can use one minute or you can use 15 minutes to save one date. I'm testing the <laughs> ATF board whether write the SD card correctly. So I use every five seconds. So you can see at here, at here. So that will be very easy to save the date. Okay, I can close it. Now, if you want to use this SD card, you can see I can delete this file. Now I will show you how to uh, save the date. Okay, the SD card is empty. So you can see, I have uploaded the Arduino source code at here. You can see uh, the source code at here. 
you can download and direct it to use. Uh, also is open source, so you can modify the uh, the program code uh, for anything. Uh, you can save anything information. Maybe you will you want uh, save the temperature and the humidity. Just uh, you can change the uh, source code. Okay, now you can see I can get my SD card. You can see this SD card. Now I will insert to my this. Okay, you can see I have inserted the SD card and now I'm not connect this cable. This also for power because I get the power from my USB cable and maybe you will have a USB battery. Okay, this is our Arduino source code. You can see the first you need to set the ESP32 board uh, at here, ESP32 device and choose, uh, choose this port. This port uh, detect by USB and we can click download the firmware to ESP32 and the next uh, after download uh, you can see we can use this command to set the current date and the time and use this command current time to check uh, the third part will print the current uh, date and the current time so we will look at the first day. And maybe you can modify the code for get the date and the time from the internet. It's also no problem. Just uh, configure the Wi-Fi. You can connect to your road and get the time. And uh, this way, because I want this ATF module work in locally without network, without internet. So we just the first time we can use this third part uh, to set this time and the date. Okay, now you can see it can download the firmware and after download, you just click this server monitor. Uh, we can use, you can see uh, this is current time because the board is new, so it's not have set the date and the time. You can see this is date time uh, current uh, 2024 year. So you just, you can use this command. We can set this command. You just uh, change this to current date at 10. Uh, we can 19.58. Okay. We can change to 50. Just a copy and paste it here and pre press send. And you can see the 10 is updated successfully. And now you can see the print date and time is updated. And also you can use this current time command to send by this server part. You can see send. And this current date and the current time. Uh, you can see uh, it's right now. Okay. And uh, the, now you can see the USB is print uh, the time uh, because every five seconds will save the temperature, just ds 18 b 20 temperature uh, to our SD card. So you can see I can hold this, this temperature and let the temperature begin high. We can wait for some uh, one minutes uh, so that can save the temperature to SD card. We'll have enough to card. And after that, we will power off and get out the SD card and insert to my computer, we will look at how, how the Excel file displayed. Okay. Now I will close this software, close this window, and also I will power, up, power off of this board. You can see, I power off. Now I get out this SD card. You can see, I get out this SD card and insert to my computer. Okay, uh, this is our SD card, you can see it here. And now you can see this SD card, and we can see this file, only 1 KB, because it's only save a little the card. So you can open it, and you can see it here, uh, uh, this sound record, because we have not set the date and time, 
And until this record, you can see uh, this date and time is correct. And you can see uh, this data. Uh, we, we can delete this this uh, this one. Okay. And you can see uh, this one, this one, this one, this one. And you can see, I just uh, click. And you can see we, the temperature, uh, the history. So in different time, in different data, and the temperature, how is work, and how is changed. So this will be very useful and easy. Just uh, download the firmware to this ATF module so that maybe you can connect one temperature sensor or two temperature sensor or many temperature sensors because the DS18B20 have the different address so you can use multi DSB 18 b 20 temperature sensor with one chip shell I have tested uh, more than 10 peaks of a temperature sensor with one chip shell so you can save your uh, temperature date uh, to your Excel file uh, so you can analyze it in compute okay thanks for watching